coefficient of determination or r squared measures the portion of the total variation in the dependent variable which in our case is the sales that is explained by the independent variable which is the traditional spending in our example a series of videos was created about many ways to compute coefficient of determination in excel in this video we will use excel corel and power functions so stay tuned One method of computing coefficient of determination is to obtain the correlation coefficient or R. We can achieve by using Excel core function. Please take time to type these values in your computer. This will help you in understanding more the steps. After all, these are just few values, right? To obtain R, type equals then correl. While typing, Excel will show you a brief description of the function. Type open parenthesis, then it will show you the input requirements. The other way of doing it is to go to formulas. Select more functions, then statistica. Scroll down and click Corel. This box will show you the name of the function, the requirements or input needed, what is the result of this formula. In this case, it says that Corel will give you the correlation coefficient of two datasets. If you click on the field of Array 1, it will guide you what is Array 1 is all about. Our first array will be the values of independent variable X, which is the trade show spending. Click the field of Array 2 and it will show you what this Array 2 is all about. Our second array will be the values of dependent variable Y, which is the cells in our case. The result of the computation will be shown here and also in this part. To have more understanding on this function, you can click this link. Your internet browser will open. This is the name of the function. This is the syntax or the requirements of the formula with brief description. Remarks contain some important guidelines like the value of correlation coefficient is between positive 1 and negative 1, what is positive correlation coefficient means, and what near to zero correlation coefficient indicates. If you want to compute correlation coefficient manually, this is the equation. The last item will be an example so you can try the function. Let's go back to our Excel file. Once everything is done, click OK. To compute coefficient of determination or r squared, you just have to square the correlation coefficient of 0.91892. The result is 0.844414. The other way of doing it is to use Excel power function. The first requirement will be number, which is the correlation coefficient. The second requirement will be power, which is 2 since we only going to square the correlation coefficient. We obtain the same result of 0.844414. How do we interpret this result? The result means that trade spending our independent variable explain 84.44% of the variation in sales our dependent variable. What is the limitation on using this calculation? This calculation can only be used if there is only one independent variable. In our case, we only have one independent variable, which is the ratio spending. If there are two or more independent variables, we have to use other way of computing coefficient of determination. That will be the topic on our next video. Like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.